Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Samvox channel. Today we're building Rigetagu. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't really know. So, it's a very big box. I can, you know, I'm recording right now, and this box is pretty huge. It's almost as huge as the Bialan Custom Zero Two that I built a uh, probably like half a year ago. Uh, not really half a year, like probably four or five months ago. Anyway, the months doesn't matter, but the box is pretty large and you know premium band eyes don't really have anything at the side so let's just look at the box art not really special at all it's just a charging and then a standing pose not really anything special at all and then you know we're gonna take it out five box so we got five box and a instruction manual as usual is lame as hell there isn't any recreation or anything let's take a look at the runners so the runners here we can see that uh, b1 parts got some parts crossed out and then d parts and c parts got some runners that crossed out and we can you know we're gonna quickly flip through the instruction manual right here uh, it's mentioned that the missile parts uh, moving the side skirt, uh, action base, and even mono eye. Yeah, you see, this is the exact thing that I want to say. How come an old mole like this? I, I'm not sure this is an old mole or not. Please don't roast me in the comments. I'm not sure this is an old mole or not. How come, how come this MS can move their mono eye by removing that part and the DJ cannot? do it like that just doesn't make sense but anyway i'm just gonna open up the runners now as you can see it's a huge mountain of runners so let's just do it one by one so this one first one we got the beam saber's effect part it's very long it looks like chopsticks that's the description next up stickers oh i'm actually pretty happy about this time because it seems like just a couple parts need to use the stickers so i'm very happy about that next one polycaps not really special at all this is the D1 runner, it's newly molded. This is uh, included the shoulder parts, the backpacks, arms, and torso, and probably the probably the can of fuel on the backpack and the antenna. This is the B1 runner, originally from the Getagugu. It includes the shoulders, hands part, and arms part and even legs part this is b2 runner also from the original get a google runner this is the mostly legs part uh, and some part of the head and i believe this is the i'm not sure which two parts this this is probably the legs this is the d runner so we got guns inner frames joints thrusters uh and basically anywhere else you can say this so mainly we got a huge gun here and we got some uh, we got some legs part here and then some arms part as well this is the h1 runner newly molded so we got a new rifle the backpack you can see the missiles you need to recolor right here you can see it need to recolor we got guns backpacks uh beam sabers yeah this is a G2 runner, newly molded as well, just like a G1 runner. We got shoulders, uh, the can of fill, and then the arms part. This is the C runner from the original Gegugu. As we can see, we can see some torso parts, uh, the back waist, the waist part, legs part, torsos, yeah. This is the H2 runner. So this is newly molded as well. As we can see, we can see some thrusters, uh, beam sabers, and the backpack fill, the can, the fill cans. And this is the A runner. I believe this is the A runner. So we got feet, uh, arms part, feet part, some some part for the elbows. This is the legs part feet part and this is the mono eye part unit here i believe anyways this is the end of the runner's introduction and i will see you guys at the review Ever torn so deep
Hey, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the review of the Rika Lugu. So this is finishing off it. Um, there's a, some part of it that I don't really like. Although there is some part that I... Mostly, as I... Um, let's just put it this way. I honestly won't have any like very high expectation from a kit that uses uh, old molds. And this is exactly the thing that I want to say now. I'm not going to have too much expectation about the Rika Lugu because when I see the... CGI or the promotional photos, I already feel like this is gonna be a you know uh, below average finish, and this is exactly what I thought. And I got a lot of parts that I need to complain about, but you know most of it I'm fine with it. But it's just some part of it I just feel like I want to complain about. But I will get to that details later. But honestly, though, it did it did have a Decent color separation. I mean, it doesn't need too much stickers to uh, fill up the colors. You can just—it's basically giving you all of that. So I—I I must say I'm very impressed about that for an old mold. But other than that, I have some part of it I want to complain. And let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's look at the head. So the head is able to turn the head around 360. No problem. Able to lift up slightly, lift down slightly. Uh, the head, the antenna here is actually newly molded. So. That's the only thing that's new on the kit. Uh, you can turn the mono eye around, you just have to remove the top of the head. But honestly though, it's too hard to remove. So I'm not even trying to attempt to do it. I'm afraid I'm gonna break the head. So I'm not gonna attempt to try to turn the mono eye around. So you can change the mono eye direction by 
uh, pulling the head apart and then you can just turn the mono eye inside and then adjust it to the position that you want and then you put it back but honestly though I'm not doing it it's too much risk right so now let's talk about our arm I don't know about you guys though if you guys have a get a google or a regal google please tell me that um, my my regular google got a very obvious problem the right arm isn't really sustainable as you can see it's really easy to move around but the left arm is completely fine so I don't know why uh, anyways so the shoulder piece can lift up and you, you can extend the ooh, rip that's why i don't really like almost anyway so the arm if you move on the shoulder you can extend the unit there's a thruster the thrusters in the shoulders you have to repaint it to red i believe and most of the arms is uh, newly molded as you can see the the grenade launcher is inside the hand and you can just simply shut it or open it it's fine it's completely fine so let me just put it back the hands and then it's an old mode, so not really good articulation. As you can see, arms can only bend 90 degrees. Uh, it's bad. Okay. And then the whole arm is able to do rotations. And what I have to say, though, is the arms movement is slightly disappointing. We do have two options for the hand. We got a trigger, right, a trigger hand with a new rival. Oh, wow. That, takes, that saved me time to explain the accessory. So this is the trigger hand with the... Uh, new rifle. We also got a old original Galagoo's rifle, and we also got a extended hand for the left arm as well. And now we're just gonna take a quick look at the torso. Torso basically, there's nothing special at all. It's just plain colors and with a sticker at the middle of the cockpit. That's it. That's not really anything else. That's just you know very exciting or you know uh, very good. It's just plain colors, nothing really special. Plain colors. Now we can talk about the now we can talk about the uh, legs movement though. So first, legs is able to bend with not really good angle. As you can see, it's an old mode, as I just said. And the feet down here is able to move front and back uh, and side to side as well, and slightly like uh, side to side. And it's a ball joint, so side kick is not gonna be very good, as you can see, because it's a side, it's a, it's a ball joint, as you can see here. It's a ball joint, and it's not gonna be good. Kick to the back, not really, because the thrust, the thrusters is getting in the way, as you can see. The thrusters, you need to repaint it as well, just a friendly reminder. And side skirt is barely movable, so I would just give up on moving that side skirt, honestly. All overall, there's nothing really special to talk about. Not even a good front kick for the model. So I can just say though, this models for a premium Bandai, it got absolutely horrible articulation. I can just warn you about that. If you still really want to buy it or you use the van, then I just think uh, you might want to think about that again because this is honestly a very terrible articulation MS. And I'm not even kidding. Like you can just see it, the arms arms uh, the arms and the legs you can clearly see is a very horrible articulation now we're going to talk about the only thing that's new on this gamble is the uh, backpack as you can see yes you need to repaint it again to red at the uh, back of thrusters and as you can see it is a complete new mode backpack this sensor here is a sticker and we also got two beam savers at the side and we also got two fill cans and this is the missile pod but as you can see the missile pods opening got a very huge problem as they don't even it's, it doesn't even stick up there and the f and the fuel cans at the back got some problems as well it's not really stable and if I put as you can see every time you open up the missile pods you need to put it back again and it's extremely annoying I can tell you that it's extremely annoying I wish you could give a proper joint and I can say though this is the honest all this idea of being lazy about Bandai, they don't really think about the products and then they just throw it out there. And as you can see, we got two beam savers and we got this extremely long beam saver effect part, almost like a chopstick. Like you probably can eat, you probably can eat with it. This, as you can see, it, it really looks like chopstick for me, not being racist. I mean, it looks, it, it does look like a chopstick and it can. It does, it does have a joint at the end of the beam saber so you can connect it together and then do a twin blade thing but it's, as you can see it's very long it's very long yeah 
that's basically it. I mean, there's not really anything special to introduce on these, on this gun player. As you can see, old modes and with a very floppy hand, I mean arms, and with some, you know, the only thing new, the only thing new is the shoulders and the backpack on this unit. I honestly can tell you that. Not really have anything exciting at all, so... You probably want to think about it before you buy it, unless you are like a die-hard UZ fan like me, or unless you just like the uh, Zeon design. Otherwise, I don't really think you need to buy that because this is honestly as bad as the Gatos get a goo goo. Anyways, guys, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, there's not much to talk about since the articulation got nothing special there's no opening options and i would like to say though if you got the condition i recommend you to glue the backpack because the fuel can and the missiles long uh, missile pot is honestly very easy to fell off so i would recommend you if you don't really if you don't want it to move again i would just suggest you just glue it forever and you will save up some time. So honestly though for a premium bandai this is a very disappointing <laughs> Very, in fact, it's a very disappointing P Bandai. First, um, it's it's kind of expensive. First, even in Hong Kong or in Australia or Japan, I'm not sure, but it is expensive. And as I said in the advanced Jinx video, can you can Bandai at least test their premium Bandai before they selling it? Because sometimes they just got small problem that you could probably fix it, and they never even took the time to investigate about that problem and then they just push it out, sell it and then let us reviewers, modelers complain about it. I'm not trying to be a whining, I'm not trying to be a whining nerd, but I just want to say that sometimes Bandai just take your time, test the product, test the premium Bandai and then sell it. Maybe perhaps you can make some improvement as well, but they just, they're just being lazy and they don't even try their best sometimes. I just feel like they just need a little more, they just need to, you know, work a little harder to actually make us modelers, builders, reviewers, what do you want to call it? Like, stop making us whining and complaining, just give us something that will say, whoa, that's awesome, but honestly, most of the PBNI uses the old mode and it just pisses me off. It's 2019 now, I, okay, regular good releases in 2018, it's 2018 now and then you use this mode that is what, probably like 10 or 12 years ago and then you sell it for it's very expensive. I just seriously hate that. But I don't I don't know, but and I probably not gonna hear what I'm saying. They're just gonna be like, dude, you still buy it. Yeah, true. But I just wanna say though, this is just my opinion. Sometimes if before they sell premium and I or whatever the model is, just test the model first. I just seriously hate to see bad models with a good design bad articulation with a good design and that's that's it this is the end of the review hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want bandai to hear what i'm saying just share this video to them and tell them to test their product just share it if you agree drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more contents i'll be making more and i will definitely see you guys next time in another review goodbye